The Pekkas will see each other. What a cordial greeting. All right, guys, so this is going to be a minor poison Pekka control deck. You're going to have Log and Poison as your two spells. Log and Poison are pretty pivotal in this meta to defeat all the bait decks. You're also going to have Royal Ghost to obliterate all the Rascals. And then Pekka and Bandit just have great synergy with Royal Ghost in general. Because Royal Ghost just cleans up all the squishy swarm units, and then the Pekka and the Bandit do a lot more DPS. And you want them concentrated on important units. And I would highly suggest you guys check out this deck if you guys like minor poison Pekka control decks. All right, so he's going to be dropping a Prince. I'm going to go in for a Bandit and then also subsequently follow up. Up with Mega Minion. The Prince's Charge is completely devastated. It is not happening out here. I also want to go in for a Log. We're just stopping the Prince's Charge every single time. You know how I said it? We were stopping the Prince's Charge every single time. I was right, but we stopped it with the Electro Wizard's body. Probably not the best allocation of our Electro Wizard. Feels bad, man. Incorrigibly sad. I don't know if I'll ever get over that. That Electro Wizard had a family, you psycho. Why did you kill him? Ugh. Feels bad, man. Regardless, he's got Golem, so hopefully we can bounce back in this situation. I'm going to go in for Royal Ghost and Bandit to obliterate his Electro Wizard instantaneously. I guess all the Electro Wizards are dying today. They all have families to go back to, but they're not coming back, man. Alright, I'm going to go in for another Mega Minion. He's going to go in for a log and he just misses the bandit, so we're doing really well now. That log, I guess it hit a P.E.K.K.A., so that, I, got, I don't think that's his definition of value, but uh, that's what he got for value. I'm not going to go support that with an Electro Wizard or anything stupid. I know that he's going to end up dropping Mega Minion, the Mega Minion dies to my Electro, then I have a little bit more of a counter push potential. Is he actually going to fireball that? Oh, he's going to propel it towards, my, uh, or towards the Mega Minion. Very well played. So you can already tell this guy's a really good player. He's just going to eat up the Miner because he's down a lot of Elixir. He kind of has to. And now I'm going to go follow up with the Royal Ghost. So it's interesting to see Giant Double Prince, or uh, Golem Double Prince instead of Giant Double Prince. He's going to go kite that. I'm going to go in for a Bandit to stop the Prince's charge. He knows that <laughs> the Royal Ghost is just going to go undetected like an FBI agent. So that was pretty well played by him. He still has to respond to that. That's a lot of Elixir. Sir? Royal Ghost and Bandit on your tower? That's like a high alert, man. I would, uh, I'd be a little bit sketched out if I were you. Oh my gosh, is he? He's pretty ballsy, man. He's pretty wild. I don't know if I can necessarily agree with his, uh, his immaculate decision making here, but okay. I can totally vibe with it. I can appreciate it, but I don't agree with it. I said he was really good and then he did that. I can't believe that. Like, you never want to start a golem in the back right when you have to deal with six worth of elixir right at the river. It's like dropping, I don't know, it's like dropping a golem when you still have to deal with like a battle ram, like ice golem push opposite lane. It just doesn't make sense because there's no way to feasibly defend that. It's untenable. I'm gonna go in for a log to bounce everything back and then go drop electro to just stop and make sure the P.E.K.K.A. or the uh, golem doesn't get a hit. If the golem got a hit and then he fireballed, he would have taken tower. I don't even know. I'm, I think I'm playing tic-tac-toe. I don't even think I'm playing checkers. <laughs> Uh, highlight of the day, beer in a stream. Glad that you can relax and kick back and enjoy it, man. Thank you. Alright, Nan done. So he goes and drops Spear Goblin Hut. I don't have Poison in Cycle. I actually have to go follow up with a Miner to make sure that we can deal with the Spear Goblin Hut. So any damage on the Spear Goblin Hut does a lot better before, uh, or after the nerf, rather. So if you can get some more damage on that, then you're going to severely limit their capability of producing Spear Goblins. Whereas it was hard to justify dropping anything on top of a Spear Goblin Hut. It was very hard to justify minoring Spear Goblin Huts or poisoning it or fireballing Spear Goblin Huts before because they always have poison bait and the poison or the fireball didn't do enough damage uh, to mitigate Spear Goblins. But now it does. So if you want to minor, poison, or fireball Spear Goblin Huts, I highly suggest it. So I'm going to go for a Bandit right on top. Bandit will kill that in one hit, so I didn't really have to wait. I'm going to go for a minor opposite lane. Kind of want to go for a P.E.K.K. on defense here. I made sure to drop the P.E.K.K. up high because I didn't really want to go face first right into a minor. Like, imagine I drop the P.E.K.K.A. here, right? He drops minor, pulls back the P.E.K.K.A., and then what happens after that? I'm kind of sort of really screwed because I don't have an answer to the Royal Ghost coming towards my tower. 
So you always have to be cognizant of that. You don't want to mess around and you don't want to play stupid when you know that they're going to have an answer to you. You don't want to, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. That's what I'm trying to say. Letra still gets a hit, so I got to sauce out a bandit. Okay, so since he goes in for a P.E.K.K.A, I don't want to go in for a mine or anything really bad. I'm just going to utilize my own P.E.K.K.A on defense here. The P.E.K.K.A's will see each other. What a cordial greeting. No, they're slapping each other. Feels bad, man. I... Ah... Uh, his P.E.K.K.A still got a final greeting shot off. The Parshin, but uh... I guess a hug, right? I guess we should call it a hug. Final hug off. I'm going to go drop another Electro in the back. And we know that he's got Miner, so I kind of have to... Yeah, don't I want to save my Bandit for it? I think that's probably the best play. He drops a Royal Ghost. Alright, I'm going to go log that back. Allow my Bandit to get up. So then the Royal Ghost isn't able to do a lot of damage to us. Royal Ghost will get one hit. So that log killed Spear Goblins and it also bounced back the Royal Ghost. And our Electro is still alive because we dropped a Miner. Let's go, man. This is working out beautifully. I have to sauce out a log. And then apply some more aggression. I presume he's going to drop a P.E.K.K.A. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Oh no, P.E.K.K.A is too thick. Never mind. Actually, that was good. We got one hit off. Okay. Can totally vibe with that. Let's see if he does the same thing. I would have to drop an Electro. Nah, we're fine. Totally vibing out here. No worries, man. No worries. Electro does phenomenal against that. Ah, oh, the Spear Goblin Hunts are really insidious, aren't they? Does that get a hit? No, we're fine. He doesn't have Pekka and Cycle now. I also go and drop a Mega Minion just to make sure that we preserve every little potential. I'm also going to go for a Poison. I just need to cycle back to one more Poison Log. Alright, we got this. Got this in the bag, man. This is a snag and a half. We need one minor hit. We are in desperation mode for that minor. Come on now, give it to daddy. Whew. Let's go. He's the sad panda. We got him. That was a close one. All right, guys, we got a game against Fran. We're gonna be saucing out a good luck and a wow to reciprocate and bounce back with the wows. Cause you guys, if you're not even with the wows with your opponent, you know, you're just not gonna have good luck in the game. So he's gonna drop a Valkyrie in the back, okay. I'm going to rush opposite lane with a bandit because I want to apply aggression opposite lane since Valkyrie is usually a good tank that people have. If you don't have that in cycle, the bandit is going to be a lot harder for you to deal with. And as a result, we get some damage with the bandit. So I kind of... Oh, you're going to have... All right. Since you have that, I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. right at the river. You're going to have Tesla. Yep. But the P.E.K.K.A. should shut everything down. Much to your dismay, sir. It is not happy. Not a happy time for you. So the P.E.K.K.A is going to be tanking for the Miner, ensuring that the Miner gets much more hits. And it demands more of a response too. Huh. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to go for Mega Minion. I didn't want to go in for Mega Minion, but it was the best play. I also am going to go in for a Bandit, so then it ends up tanking for the uh, Mega Minion. It's probably the best play since he doesn't have Skeletons in Cycle. The Mega Minion goes straight toward the tower. And the Mega Minion actually gets a Swipe of Fury. Let's go, man. Easy. Electro Wizard in the middle. Should still kill the Valkyrie despite the Valkyrie having an absurd amount of HP now. It has more HP than the Prince is. It's kind of crazy to even... I don't know. I can't even fathom that. Oh, the Tesla! It went underground and then it came back up. Oh, it was shooting the Electro Wizard. It was thinking about shooting the Electro Wizard. It was contemplating. It wasn't shooting the Electro Wizard. It made a quick change of heart and it decided to go on top of, top of our other units, man. Very unfortunate that our Royal Ghost got shredded by that Tesla. Fallen, but never forgotten. Royal Ghost. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go in for an Expo? Because we can end up going in for a Pekka right on top. Otherwise, I'll just go in for an Electro Wizard right in the back. If you Fireball it, then I can go in for a Poison. Uh, if you're not going to Fireball it, obviously I'm not going to do anything about it. I really want to hit the Tower. And I also really want to end up hitting the Expo with a Poison. So that's my dream Poison. It's not necessarily going to happen, but you got to play this really safe and steadily. Oh, let's go, man. All right. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to give me some really nice value. So the poison is going to end up hitting the tower, finish off the expo. And then we also encapsulate the Valkyrie. Going to go for a high Electro Wizard so he's not able to hit a uh, fireball on top of our tower. Plus the Electro Wizard. 
going in for another minor. He's going to drop Valkyrie. Guys, I think we're playing this really formulaic, and I think that uh, it's definitely going to pay dividends for us. So I'm going to go drop another Bandit. Do I want to go for Rogo off as a lane? No. I want to go for a Mega Minion to finish off that Valkyrie as soon as possible, and then go for Pekka. Those Expos, dude, they're so promiscuous. You have no right to do that. I guess you do have a right. It is a free country, but I don't know, man. I don't know why you're doing it to yourself. You're kind of crazy. Ooh, that Pekka almost got a juicy shot off on him. And the Mega Minion is uh, about to rain in the pain. Mega Minion gets one hit. Bandit rolls right on through. I go in for a log, hoping to catch skeletons or something, but it doesn't necessarily happen. And all I got to do is really just go in for more minor poisons. He's got to go in for like a Valkyrie to catch it. I don't think he has Elixir. And he guesses the wrong side. Rogue goes, punishes him. And the big log of justice rolls right on through and hits absolutely nothing. Just for the aesthetics. How many cards did you win? So right now I'm at over 800k. I think I'm at 810k cards won. I'm going to be dropping Mega Minion in the back. He's going to drop Skeleton. So he's probably going to have a cycle deck. We're going to have to wait and see exactly what he's running. So Mega Minion, Skeletons... Is it Expo? Do you got the Expo sauce for us, man? Or are you running something completely and utterly different? Oh, you are running something completely and utterly different. You got a Barbarian HUD as well. You're wild, sir. Bob the Barbarian making his way into the arena. I kind of want to go in for an Electro Wizard, but yeah, I'm going to go drop an Electro. I also was thinking about dropping a Bandit off his lane and applying aggression that way. All right, I'm going to do that. We're about it. We're totally about it. Shouldn't go towards the bar bot. Yeah, he drops a knight. So he's running graveyard. All right, so my... Yeah, are you running grave? Yeah, this should be graveyard. We're going to drop Rogos around on top of those. Barbarian should not be spawned anymore. Rogos finishes off the archers in one fell swoop. And then I go in for a minor. I want to go opposite lane in the barbarian hut. I never want to go into the barbarian hut with my bandit and royal ghost. So as you guys can see, I'm uh, making some sneaky tactics with my Royal Ghost. Making plays out here, dropping the Electro in a lane that he doesn't want to poison, right? Uh, we're going to be going in for Bandit as well. What are you going to do? Okay, so you're going to keep doing that play. You're really about the life of dropping Knight. So I could have... No, I think Royal Ghost is better against Barbarians. I'm glad that I saved it. So I'm going to go in for a Miner right in front. Oh, did we hit the archers? Did we block? We didn't block, but we did hit the archers. I was hoping that we would block and hit the archers, so then the Mega Minion would dictate more of a response. It didn't really get the exact result I wanted, but we got him to drop another Mega Minion. So it's working okay. Then he drops a really shallow Barbarian Hut, so I'm going to go for a Poison here. I'm going to go in for a Mega Minion. Mega Minion obviously kills all the Barbarians. As hard as the Barbarians want to try, they cannot shoot up, man. It's just not a thing. I'm also going to be dropping a Miner to pull the Barbarians off his lane here. And Graveyard as I expected. Okay, so Royal Ghost plus the Skeletons or uh, our tower shooting the Skeletons. We're going to be fine. Just got to keep applying aggression. Can't allow this man to uh, control the flow of the game. He's got so many answers though. I don't know. This is really rough. I needed to do more damage in single elixir. Electro on top of the tower. Okay, we're vibing. I can't necessarily go in for... Yeah, I just got to keep him at low amounts of elixir. And I can't necessarily go in for like minor poisons when I'm down elixir. It's not really a good play. I want him to go in for knights every single time on top of my rogue ghost or on top of my bandit. And not save it for the minor. Unfortunately, he saved it for the minor there. I'm going to go for rogue ghost here, apply some more aggression. And then I try to kill his knight every single time with a mega minion before then going in again with a bandit. And if I can go for Electro Wizard to snipe his units like his, his Barbarian Hut across the river, that's really good for me. Mega Minion's getting some absurd utility on him. And then the Miner connects with the tower, something that he obviously did not want to happen. So I'm just saving the poison. I'm being very apprehensive, very cautious. No frivolous maneuvers out here. We're trying to go for the W. No mediocre is allowed. Dropping another Electro Wizard to kill the Barbarians and then still walk in the right-hand lane because we're totally about that life of applying as much aggression as possible. I'm not going in for a Poison because it would be a stupid play. I'm not going for a Poison until it ends up taking his tower because we already know the counter push potential of this man. Oof, it's unparalleled. Going in for a Bandit. Also, if he had went in for a Tank Push, right, 
I would have went for like Bandit off to the side to kill his uh, knight and then went in for like a poison on top. So if that was ever the case scenario, then I would have done that. So like right here. And then Bandit to ensure that the knight doesn't get on top of my tower. It's pretty important as well. Miner is getting through, doing some damage, doing him dirty out here. And also log just for some cycling, but I think uh, I want to get more utility out of my unit, so I want to go for Rogos. Ghost. Do I need to drop Electro? That was bad. Okay. That was really bad by me. I tried to save Poison, so then I could go in for a Minor Poison and capture the W. But I... I'm just going to wait and see if this actually ends up connecting. It does end up connecting, so I did make a good play. It wasn't a good play, but we're going to say it was a good play because it worked out in this case scenario. I should have used Poison on defense. It would have been a lot more safe, but uh, we end up still walking away with a W. So GG and well played, bro.